What we know is that we have some coronaviruses that we see every year um, and they cause a lot of mild, relatively mild disease and circulate through the population causing colds and sometimes flu-like symptoms. We have seen more dangerous and lethal types of coronavirus before, the SARS pandemic that we went through, as well as the MERS, those were also coronaviruses. And they did both disappear. They disappeared prior to the development of a effective vaccine or a particularly effective medication treatment. However, we should recognize that COVID-19 has already had a much larger global impact than either of those prior coronavirus, and it is behaving differently in terms of the severity of illness from sort of the run-of-the-mill coronaviruses that we see year in, year out. Part of what will help us understand how to answer that question is when we get a better sense of how our immune systems respond in terms of once someone has had the infection and recovered from it, whether the immunity to getting a second infection lasts for a short time or a fairly long time or a lifetime. And, and we just don't know that yet. And it will take uh, some time, probably at least a year or two, before we have a really good sense of that.